The end of his campaign comes just before Super Tuesday, when 14 states will vote. There are now six candidates left. Joining me now from Lancaster University in the UK is Robert Gucci. Hello, thank you very much indeed for your time. Now, which of the remaining candidates is most likely to benefit from Buttigieg ending his campaign? Well, uh, they all will, but but I think Joe Biden is uh, always looking for a way to to get some more points. Certainly, we saw him do well in this last uh, this last uh, primary, but uh, we really need to see how that uh, gets spread out across all of these other uh, other candidates, uh, and, and they're all going to be fighting for it. So Super Tuesday and, and uh, today and tomorrow is going to be a, a lot of fighting for those votes. Why would you quit, though, just before Super Tuesday, just before more than a dozen states vote? Does this indicate he might have been able to strike a deal with one of the candidates, or what do you think? Well, yeah, you don't want to you don't want to go go down fl you know in a, in, a, in a crash and burn scenario. Uh, you want to uh, hold out your options for a possible cabinet position. And so, if you end on good terms, uh, you end before it shows that you're highly unpopular, at least at this stage. Uh, it looks good for you and for the, the nominee who might bring you on in some capacity uh, later on. It, it, you don't come back and say, well, uh, this person really wasn't popular and, and got kicked out after Super Tuesday. Uh, the person bowed out gracefully. It's, it's part of the political dance. This was a historic campaign. He was he is openly uh, gay. And uh, Joe Biden has said that this is not the last we've seen of him on the national stage. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I think that's true. But one of the reasons that he lost some of his popularity, particular, particularly along racial lines, is that being gay doesn't trans uh, doesn't mean that you also understand all the different diversity uh, of the population. So he has some work to do, not just in terms of uh, being himself and identifying uh, his his interests, but his identities, uh, his communities of interest, um, you know, language he would use, uh, but also actively working towards uh, building some some. Uh, you know, bridges over the racial divides, too. Now, for Biden, it was an easy win in South Carolina. Does this mean, then, that going into Super Tuesday, he's the main threat to Bernie Sanders? Well, these come and go up and down, right? And and he can, you know, somebody can fall on a stage uh, metaphorically or physically, and, and uh, it's a disaster for the campaign. That's kind of how silly some of these primaries are uh, when people want to win so so badly. Uh, but yeah, he has uh, shot up through the through the ranks. Uh, we saw Bloomberg come in really strong, and, and uh, you know he's not necessarily keeping his footing. So I think it's you know Warren uh, and and and, uh, and Biden. Um, who, who really need to, to say, we're going to work together against this Bernie Sanders guy or we're going to be in some, some real trouble.